and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of Mono Black Discard, one of my very favorite decks. This deck is all about making your opponent's um, hand obviously not very good because you're trying to make them discard all their cards, and really about uh, just making their their deck just not function like it's supposed to. Our deck isn't super powerful, as you can see. like you know it's not. It's not like, you know, Burglar Rat and your Ox Fen Lurker and Vicious Rumors. These aren't really powerful cards, even Davriel. But when you just kind of combine them all together, it just kind of messes with the opponent's game plan so much and disrupts them so much that you can kind of squeak it out. Like, that's that's kind of like what our deck's doing. First and foremost, our deck is really built around Rankle. Like, Rankle is the key that makes this deck work. Because we can uh, empty their hand so fast... Um, Rankle can end the games for us. Like that's the thing about emptying their hand is you, you gotta be able to end the game and you know not let them have a bunch of time to like draw you know a lot more lands and then hit their land drops and then big powerful spells afterwards. And Rankle is just is just the key. Um because you know not only is it a flying haste creature, that's obviously very good, but then the the discard cards obviously fits with the the theme, and then also the draw cards. Because Another thing that's that makes discard spells not very powerful is that once your opponent empties their hand, like what are you doing with your burglar rat? You're just gonna play a two mana one one. They don't have any cards in hand. Well, Rankle can you can force your opponent to draw cards, which is this is actually pretty powerful. Where like you attack them, you hit them with Rankle, you just say, Alright, we'll both lose a life and draw a card. And they're like, Okay, well, I'll draw my card. And then they they draw their card, and then you're like, Alright, well now my Davriel is gonna make you discard it. And you just got to draw a card. And so, you know, you just get to continue to gas up, make them lose more life. Um, and, you know, you can still keep using your discard effects afterwards. We're trying a couple of new, like, we're sticking with the same main, uh, main deck here. <clears throat> um, we're, uh, we're trying a couple of new things in the sideboard. I didn't have Epic Downfall before. I think that that's an oversight. I'm going to try a couple Epic Downfalls to be able to um, exile some larger creatures or even exile like a mayhem devil. Um, like, you know, mayhem, you know, like I had like disfigure legions and, and like cry the carnarium and noxious grass was my removal. So like, I couldn't even kill like a mayhem devil ever. I mean, I guess the murderous riders besides that. So yeah, we're going to try a couple epic downfalls, um, loading up on noxious grasp now because of how popular the Simic decks are, you know, really need to kill those night pack ambushers and Nissas. So loading up on those. And then instead of trying Cry of the Carnarium to stop Cauldron Familiar from coming back over and over, I'm going to try Leyline of the Void. It may be bad, I just want to try it. So we're going to play some Leyline of the Void here and give this a try. And see how it is against Cauldron Familiar. That's what we're going to be trying. Okay, so we're going to play, we're going to play four matches over in Ranked. Uh, won't be playing five from just time consideration because <clears throat> we're already we have like an, an hour left before i would usually stop streaming and four matches is going to take longer than an hour so we're going to be streaming over but we'll play four matches with mono black discard match number one yeah we lost a couple they were very close games. They were good games. Mm. There's the Fen Lurker. Or sorry, there's there's the culture familiar. That is the the uh, That's like, you know, one of the cards I really don't want to see. <laughs> hey danger, yeah, new Plukernos. Does look pretty sweet. No, no, Mike. It's still the pre the prime sub still there. You have to you know do it yourself. Yeah, Mike. Where's where's your sub? No blocks. What what they exile? Casualties of war. Yuck. I 
Those are all creatures. These adventure spells. Yeah, I'm not I'm not super sold on the new Pelucranos though. Could be very good. I'm not super sold yet. Could go Fen Lurker plus Vicious Rumor, make them discard both of those, and maybe that's the route I'm supposed to go. So Trail of Crumbs can still gas them up, but, you know, they only have three lands. It's not very many lands. Goose. That was a really good draw. The Goose can effectively gas them up pretty easily. Yeah, it blocks my Rankle. I really wish I had another, um, I'm going to just say none. If I had another land, I would be able to do we both draw and then Vicious Rumors. Gross. Good. I can kill Mayhem Devil. I can kill Gilded Goose also. Maybe more important to kill Gilded Goose. That is going to be the trick, not dying. So we need one more land to play Ryder and Davriel.
really wish we had one more land. Uh, that was just the worst thing that could happen. Not only not a land, but... Not a... Like, just a, a three mana card was the only thing we couldn't draw there. A three or four mana card. Like, anything. We had to draw something that cost two. Ugh. Bleh. Alright, so downfall, legions end, ley line. We're gonna try all these. We're gonna take out duress. Well, the thing is, is like... Duress on like turn one can you know hitting that trail of crumbs can be super important. Alright, I'm not I'm not playing downfall. Not for this matchup. Not sure how these play lines are going to play out. Not sure how they're going to play out. Q and Davriel, and it's besides Rankle, it's like our other way to win games quickly. Well, I guess no better. No better uh, showing to see how they'll work out than this. <laughs> Zach, why do you do this? Why don't we draw a Legion's End instead? Why do we need a third Rankle? Kept a one lander also. Will be murderous riding the. I will be using Swift End on the, the Mayhem Devil. Man, if we'd have just had Legion's End. Well, obviously it's too late you know with our our two lander 
six draws later before we get our land. A little too late. Their one lander, they hit land, land, land. Three in a row. After you know, missing the first time. This is five, five turns later for us, right? One, two. Yeah, five turns later for us. Well, the ley lines didn't do anything. They did absolutely nothing. So that's not great. They did absolutely nothing. I brought in, I had three legions that in my deck. I need to have four. Gilded Goose, Gilded Goose just has to go. We gotta play four Legion's End. Yep, the Ley Lines kept, made me keep a bad hand. Yep, that's true. Hopefully we get to curve out into Rankle with keeping three lands. Hopefully we draw a land. You gonna let me trade there? That's surprising. No. No. Innkeeper. Bad. Maybe I don't even curve into wrinkle. too awkward. Not, I don't have all the mana to cast all this stuff. And then we even have the castle. They could refill our hand anyway. We need to just trade cards. Vicious Rumors was a really good draw. Let's draw cards. Get another one. Get to hit that land drop. That worked out pretty well. So I'm trading, <clears throat> trading a 2-3 for a 1-1, one, one, but hopefully that means they don't get to attack with the beast. And they didn't play like the land for turn, so I was expecting them to have some kind of good card in hand. Alright, let's both draw a card. Man, Wrinkle is awesome, especially when you get to hit your land drops. Ooh. Good for him. But now if they draw Bone Crusher Giant, they don't get to play it. If you surrender now, a mind is a terrific thing to waste. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> um.
Downfall and Grasp. We're going to take out Duress and Davriel. I think they're too aggressive for Davriel. Get another Legion's End in here. Could maybe play another end over in Ayara also. Okay. <laughs> Bring in the ley line. Bring in the ley line. Hey, Dr. K. Like I said, I didn't know if the ley line was going to be good at all. Wanted to try it out. But it disappointed to the highest degree last last game. <laughs> he wants to see a clutch ley line one. Could happen. Boo. We don't have another one of those. Man, we are doing really good drawing our wrinkles, aren't we? We're drawing the heck out of those wrinkles. Get him, Wrinkle. Um, I guess we gotta get rid of Lily. Darn. I got rid of Legion's End. Just a safe play. Keep me at a high enough life total where like a questing beast doesn't kill me. And safe play is kind of worth it with you know with us being able to play all these castles and everything too. But <clears throat> now we got more removal. We're looking good. They could be just chilling with uh, Embercleave over there, maybe. Good job, Wrinkle. Wrinkle cleared out those big creatures. <laughs> we did not have a ley line that game. Did not have one there. Davriel is Liliana's son? What? 
that's a thing? I didn't know Liliana had a kid. Yeah, I don't think that was right. Just earlier. Said Ral and Davriel are cousins in the lore. Ral is Chandra's son. Davriel is Liliana's son. And Chandra and Liliana are sisters. They must be they must be talking about for something else. Some other kind of lore. Like a Like a, this didn't actually happen kind of lore. No! Clary on my way with some. Well, if I can't have a battlefield, you can't have a hand. Them's the rules. Live with it. In that Legion's End value. The mask is scary, but underneath, I'm just a normal diabolist. Gonna draw your card. Let's All right, now you can discard it. Oh, wouldn't you like Sorry. to have that time wipe? Good. Oop. Can't have it. All right, now we get all these drill bits. Make this matchup even better. Get rid of the Legion's Ends. And we could trim some... Like, usually I would trim Murderous Rider against Control, but obviously they're playing a lot of Planeswalkers. So I don't really want to do that. So we're going to trim a couple of Ayaras. Just going to take out the Ayaras and the Legion's Ends and play Drill Bits. <clears throat> they, they clarry onto my whole board. I feel like that's a, that's a reason to be a bully. Yeah, minor detail, we drew six cards. Minor detail. Footnote. It's like a duress to keep them from playing, you know, like Teferi. Narset's the other one, but like, I don't think they're gonna want to to fairy bounce Fenlurker, right? Like, they don't want to do that. But I wanted to turn on this drill bit for next. Like, that's that was, like, the main thing. I wanted to turn on drill bit. Like, this turn's going to be pretty good for us. All right, let's start with Duress. Fires, fires, Narset. Sure. So they still have their one Narset activation. Meditate and prepare. And 
then Midnight Reaper. And we have to get rid of Narset so we can draw two cards. Because otherwise Narset would have kept us from drawing multiple cards. Oh no! My plan has gone awry. My opponent sent me to prison for being a bully. use some training obviously they play they get to play Ugin we're in trouble Clarion Clarion boo mm. Because I want them to play the Clarion so we could make them discard the Ugin. <clears throat> oh, this Ugin's going to be really tough. Minus. Minus. Target Prison Realm. Minus. Alright, they got this one. We're gonna be back on the play now. They got that one. What were you doing, Liliana's? Besides nothing. Yep, GG. Uh, this is Goldfield's Treehouse. Don't love having that Davriel, or sorry, don't, the Liliana. Don't love having the Liliana right away. Um, taking the Drawn because it's a two for one. Or Shimmers. Like, you know, they can't cast the Drawn yet, but. Sure they'll be able to. Empty your mind. They're pretty aggressive with those fave wishes. This is why I wear the mask. So Davriel's still just like, you know, it's still just mind draw here. We get to make them discard. Twice. Perish the thought.
before they just have another Clarion. I, I'll need to draw another land now. I'm discarding my sixth land, but... They had another Clarion. Yeah, we're drawing lands. I, I can't really keep... Like, the Fae of Wishes just blocks the Rankle. And they turned out they did have that other. <clears throat> Ooh, that was a nice vicious rumors. Get rid of that prison realm. With us having castles, we want to just get the cards out of my hand. Oh. Let me pick your brain. All I've left you Get him, Liliana. Liliana. They had their sweepers. They don't want to play them. Why why this say good game? It's not game. Alright, so what I was gonna do <clears throat> My plan Like we had we had six damage right then. We didn't have seven. But my plan was I was gonna play Midnight Reaper, I was gonna minus Liliana, and then I was gonna, you know, sack one token and sack the Midnight Reaper. I draw three cards. Uh, two from the Liliana, one from the Midnight Reaper, and you know they don't have their blocker anymore. I have four damage coming at them. The Davriel, of course, does two. They would draw this card, which I could make them discard to Davriel, and I just needed one of those three cards to do one point of damage. You know, like a Vicious Rumors or Wrinkle, cards like that. Well, no, they they said good game first, and so I just said good game as well. We have some play been playing some fast ones. Maybe we'll be able to get five in. We're playing fast league here. Fast, fast few games. I like the control matchup with this deck. That's my that's my um, favorite. Uh, that's my favorite deck to play with this. This is my least favorite deck to play against. The Jund Sacrifice. The deck with a ton of broken one drops and two drops. My least favorite. Yeah, this deck really is the control killer. Don't think you'll be needing that. That's so rough. <laughs> Discard Cauldron Familiar. Ugh. It's not like this is unwinnable. I actually kind of went back and looked, and I've actually, I've actually won this matchup more than I've lost. But it's tough, and the games are really close. And a lot of them, there that I was winning, my, you know, like my opponents weren't drawing that well, and that, you know, it's a, it's a close one, but it's not unwinnable. They already have infinite cards anyway. I might as well gain another card. Yeah, you hate the John Sacrifice matchup. Yeah, this is this is definitely the worst matchup. 
These cards are just so cheap. But that's why I wanted to try Leyline of the Void and see how Leyline of the Void did. Um, it did not do good. I don't know why they didn't attack first. I, I'm not sure, GM. I think just the Ashiok one, I think. But I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure what's in the bundles, to be honest. All right, so we're going to play all the Legion's Ends this time. I guess we'll still try... That's the thing, is like if they don't have Cauldron Familiar, Leyline... Like, Leyline the Void only stops Cauldron Familiar. It does nothing else. All right, so we'll take... We'll take Davriel out this time. I didn't last time, and I kind of regretted it. We'll take Davriel out. We'll play two Ley Lines and play two Downfalls instead of two Ayaras. Yeah, I'll play the Ley Line. I'll play a third one over a rat, too. All right, we'll play the ley lines. Let's try them out. The problem with Drill Bit is turning on Drill Bit with this matchup. It's it's amazing card if it's turned on for one mana. That's the problem is, you know, like getting through Cauldron Familiar and stuff and turning it on. All right, well, this is a much better ley line hand. This is about as good of a hand as we can have with ley line. Wow, we just got a free discard. We just got a free discard. My opponent mulligan for me. You don't want to just free mulligan against the discard deck. Don't think that's what you want. No Gilded Goose? Oh, this matchup's so much better when they don't have Gilded Goose. Also, that's that's the thing about all three of the other games that we had played. No, I didn't say something. It had a lot of Gilded Gooses. I don't really want to discard either of these cards. Alright, get that goose out of here. I wish I could sacrifice and then discard. They're going to need this trail of crumbs to be real good. Well, that's pretty good. That makes two bodies. We can kill one. All right. Leyline still did absolutely nothing. <laughs> it only does something against Cauldron Familiar. Um... <laughs> Leyline MVP. This is the primary matchup for the Leylines. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not convinced by him, but I just want to try him. You know, never truly know unless you try. The reason why we have Duress in the matchup is because we really want to hit Witch's Oven and Trail of Crumbs early. Why can't you be an instant? 
And I could instantly kill this love struck beast. It's not really any reason not to wait, right? Legions end these one ones? The answer's no. Masker Girl Mayhem Devil. Maybe the answer is yes? <laughs> I can save Downfall for Masker Girl. Have Midnight Reaper for Mayhem Devil. Mm. At least I have a downfall for that. But now the the core vault paired with the Fable Passage, like. Not only does it draw two, but you know, it kills the Midnight Reaper, of course. Ugh, draw two. Corval's pretty great. Corval's pretty great. All right, let's play one more. That's our tough match. That's our worst matchup. It's not as bad as what it seemed in these games. <clears throat> Usually, but that's a tough one. Doesn't seem like Leyline's the answer. Leyline of the, vo of the Void. Does not seem like that's the answer. Well, this hurts. I don't have any removal for the innkeeper. So they're going to be able to just sit back and draw a lot of cards. Um, all right, and my least favorite deck, <laughs> as you'll know from... Just a little bit ago with the is it when we were playing the is it one. I do hope a mind is a terrific thing to waste. So then we'll be able to minus Davriel and Burglar Rat next turn. <clears throat> Maybe make them get rid of their last two cards. We'll see.
Hey, what's up, Scrambler? Let's tidy up. Getting a tier two sub in. That is awesome. Thank you so much there. Discarded Brazen Borrower. That's the worst card in their hands. Lucky Clover. Got a pressure. Got to pressure. Our 23rd Loneliness sub of the day. Oops. Oh, it says 24. That's not a fair card. Escape to the wilds? That's not fair. At least with their auto tap, they don't get to really play anything else. Ugh. That's a bad draw. That was the worst draw in our deck. The actual worst draw. We really had one other Liliana. Oh, well, I guess we just replay Midnight Reaper. Oh, they're blocking. Nope, not blocking. Jump block? Nope. Block? Nope, not block. Block? Block. Hey, Scrambler, doing good. Yeah, we had our fun 12 hour stream yesterday. We're doing good again today. So they got another escape to the wilds. Oh, their last card was another innkeeper. Yuck. Draw them cards. And lived, I think. Darn, they would have drawn a Skyland. Ugh, what a whiner. So they got one blocker, they're at one. I got three creatures. We got there. Good for nothing, Liliana's. <laughs> so Legion's End is only good against um, the one mana one one. <clears throat> this does seem like a good drill bit matchup. Do I take out Lils? Duress can go. I guess we can just kind of replace Duress with drill bit. Play a little bit of Grasp. Is Grasp better than Legion's End? It probably is. Or just down, maybe play some Downfalls. Because they're going to have like their three mana five fives and their three mana four threes. Even those three one flyers. Of all those things that are really annoying. Yeah, I think I would leave Liliana for best of one in this deck. 
this deck can draw a lot of lands. Midnight Reaper draws a lot of cards for you, expect like in this deck. And Rankle, like the Rankle trick that we've been talking about, you get those extra cards with that too. It's not that difficult to get to six lands with the deck, so I like. One Grasp, two Downfall. How important is it to kill the 1-1? One, one? We'll just go the Super Coward's way out and play one of each. <laughs> Grasp, Downfall, and Allegiance End and hope it lines up. Oh, I love it. They mulliganed. They're on the play and they mulliganed. And my hand is great. We just got to draw lands. The Liliana has not looked good today, though. Well, sometimes. Other times it's been, you know, when we've cast it, it's been awesome. Really? We're going to draw another one? When we've cast it, it's been awesome, but there's been times like this that's just been stuck in hand. Ooh, that's good. Getting Beanstalk out of here, that's good. Especially right after they discard a land. Hawkeye, we need your help. We need lands. Come here. Come here, Hawkeye. We need your help. Hawkeye's a real estate mogul. We need those lands. Oh no! Hawkeye, your luck struck midnight. So ridiculous. That's such a ridiculous card. Five cards and then play more lands. Alright, whatever. You're on to the next one. Alright, maybe I need to rest because of Escape to the Wilds. Escape to the Wilds does look pretty broken. I mean I got the drill bits though. I got drill bits. Alright, downfall out of here. Another grasp in. One duress? No. Well, yeah, it was just all cards cost three or more mana for the lose. Not only just the lilies, but... The Lilianas were not the only dead cards in hand. We had all dead cards. Vicious Rumors is a cool way to turn on um, Drill Bit. Legions end these. Because Liliana can can help us win in the late game. Um Really how they win is they get to, to ramp and then play like Escape to the Wilds and have like tons and tons of cards. And Noxious, Noxious Grask doesn't really help us stop them from winning too much. Like the only, like the best thing Noxious Grasp does is, you know, like we get to kill that one mana 1-1. One, one, but then it's also just versatile and it kill, can kill some bigger stuff too. So it's not just, you know, like a Legion's End that only kills the 1-1 one, one that draws cards. But this can kill like the 5-5 five, five or the 8-8 eight, eight as well. Wow. 
We made them discard Escape to the Wilds because they wanted to keep land Chandra. Wow, that was a great burglar rat kitty. Yeah. Good job finding that rat, cat. And then you found the rankle and the land drop. You're doing great, Hawkeye. You're doing great. You're doing great. I would love to do this and then draw a land, but the problem is, is we may not draw a land. If we don't draw a land, then I'll hate doing that. But if we drew a land, then I could Fenlurker away their, their spell and then also Noxious Grasp this Innkeeper. So I'll just use the Murderous Rider, but obviously I want to get rid of the Innkeeper so they don't get to just draw more cards off of these. Realize it was a little risky to just go drill bit, because you know it could be a land. So All right. Wrinkle wins it. You did a great job, Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you're right. I think they messed up that Chandra. I think if they would have gone Chandra minus two, exile the Midnight Reaper, they would have been in a lot better spot. They just let me draw three. Let me hit my land drops. Um, all right, so we still have to figure out the the Jund. Just got to figure out the Jund matchup. Um, we're we're certainly very competitive against everything else, if not favored against a lot of stuff. Like we're we're really good against almost everything else. We just got to figure out that Jund matchup. That's the tough one. Leyline of the Void did not seem like an answer. Did not seem like the answer. Sorry. I'm not sure exactly what the answer is, but that's Jun Sacrifice is, is the tough matchup. But besides that, you know, like if you don't have a lot of Jun Sacrifice in your area or, you know, like Jun Sacrifice is what? Like at most, like 20% of the metagame at most. So that means you have a, a real tough matchup one out of five times and a good matchup four out of five times. Like that's, that's just like what you want in magic, right? Yeah, I... I've I've tried Cry the Carnarium. I think it does help. I, I tried taking out Cry and tried Leyline of the Void instead. Leyline wasn't good. So yeah, Cry could be Cry could be better. Um. Yeah, you just gotta be a little lucky. It's not like it's unwinnable. It's not like you just automatically lose. Um, I'm close to 500. I'm probably I think I was like one over 500 before today, and then we went 0 2. So I think I'm one under 500 against the deck. So it's. But I've also I also know that like how the games play out i shouldn't we shouldn't be that close to 500 that i was getting lucky in, in some of the wins also um but yeah yep cry can definitely mess mess up our own stuff though also so it's something to to think about um spike glass i mean it's not really like the witch's oven that's that's like killing you it's like trail of crumbs gild the goose i don't know i don't know i don't know exactly what to do 
Anyway, <clears throat> that's Mono Black Discard. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you got you got some good suggestions. Let me know. I guess yeah, like Spyglass, Cry the Carnarium. Um, what's that Trail of Crumbs is tough because they get to just refill so cheap. But anyway, yeah, really fun deck here, and it's it's like this is one of my favorites to play. It's a fun one, and it's fast too. You know, like we played those five matches in just about an hour. So first. For standard, that's really fast. So uh, you're really good against control. That's your best matchup. Control decks, um, you just have so much card advantage with like you know like the Reaper, Liliana, and stuff. But then you have so much discard and really you know all these duresses, drill bits, all this stuff. Like you just really disrupt them. So if you like beating control decks, um, you got a lot of control in your area. This is the deck for you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching Mono Black Discard. Another awesome stream day today. If you missed any other the other videos, check them out. Um, of course, I'll link the YouTube here, but y'all on YouTube, make sure you're checking out all the other videos, hitting the like buttons, and leaving those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.